Bundeswehr Inspector General Karsten Brewer has warned of the growing military threat Russia poses to the West. We are seeing that the Russian army is orienting itself towards the West, he said in an interview with the Sachsisch Zeitung newspaper, as quoted by the DPA news agency. According to Brewer, in five to eight years the Russian armed forces will be staffed and equipped in such a way that an attack on NATO territory will be possible. In this regard, the highest-ranking Bundeswehr officer referred to his own analysis, information from the intelligence services and armed forces of Germany's allies, as well as statements by Russian President Vladimir Putin. He pointed out that the Russian army receives between 1,000 and 1,500 tanks annually, while the five largest European NATO countries have only half that number combined. In particular, the Bundeswehr has about 300 combat tanks, the German general noted. If we add to this potential the intention that can be clearly read in Putin's statements, then this should alarm us. My task is to think about such a worst-case scenario, he further emphasized. According to Brewer, for Germany this means the need to prepare for a possible attack by the Russian Federation in five years. At the same time, not everyone has yet realized the new threat situation, he added. Commenting on the situation in Ukraine, the Inspector General of the Bundeswehr noted that he does not expect significant changes in the combat zones in the near future. At the same time, it is possible to conduct small, slow operations, but it is difficult to carry out large-scale offensives at the moment, he is sure. The concentration of troops will be immediately noticed and will lead to the adoption of countermeasures, the general explained. At the same time, the country that suffered from the Russian invasion still depends on the help of its partners, he recalled. Riga has prepared a batch of more than 500 drones to be sent to Ukraine, Latvian Defense Minister Andris Sprud said. Earlier this month, Riga announced it would send more than 2,500 combat drones of different types to Ukraine in July, worth 4 million euros or $4.3 million. Sprud shared photos on X showing a number of packed boxes that read, Drone Coalition. When the drones are expected in Ukraine wasn't mentioned by Sprud's. As a member of the Drone Coalition, Latvia is constantly working on sending drones to Ukraine in accordance with the needs of the army and investing heavily in their production. The Drone Coalition was launched on February 17, 2024 within the framework of the Contact Group on Defense of Ukraine. Latvia and Great Britain acted as co-leaders of the initiative. Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Lithuania, Estonia, Canada and the Netherlands have also joined the coalition, a total of 14 countries are already in the coalition. Now more than 500 million euros has been collected for the supply of drones to Ukraine. Latvia and the UK are the leaders of the international coalition established to supply Ukraine with drones, which became a crucial capability on Ukrainian battlefields. Earlier, Latvian President Edgars Rinkiewicz called on NATO partners to lift restrictions on the use of Western weapons supplied to Ukraine against Russian military facilities. In April, it became known that Ukraine and Latvia planned to start joint production of unmanned aerial vehicles for the needs of the armed forces of Ukraine. Another 100,000 rounds of ammunition will be sent to Ukraine in July and August thanks to the Czech initiative, Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lepavsky said on Monday. During July and August we will send another 100,000 rounds of ammunition. We are now looking for money to purchase new ammunition so that the initiative can be continued in 2025, Lepavsky was quoted as saying by the Sesk Novini Agency. According to the minister, at the moment 18 countries have joined the initiative, of which 15 have already fulfilled their obligations and made their contribution. He explained that this means that there are enough funds to deliver 500,000 rounds of ammunition to Ukraine by the end of the year. 
On June 25, Prime Minister Petra Fiala announced that the Czech Republic had supplied Ukraine with the first batch of artillery shells in accordance with the Czech aid program to Kiev. Previously, he announced that the Czech Republic had already entered into contracts for the supply of 180,000 artillery shells to Ukraine. The total of 500,000 rounds planned for this year has already been financially secured. The Czech initiative aims to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with 50,000 to 100,000 large-caliber shells monthly, significantly boosting Ukraine's artillery capabilities amidst ongoing conflict. This effort represents a substantial commitment from the Czech Republic in supporting Ukraine's defense needs and highlights the continued international cooperation in providing military aid to the country.